Well, good morning. <clears throat> Time to get up and go get some fish. Well, we're up and getting around uh, for kind of a slow, relaxing day today. We're going to be moving uh, down at least uh, to one lower lake and maybe to a different one, uh, depending on if there's anybody at the first one. So anyway, we're just going to get up and do our duty and duties and uh, get some coffee and pack up and ship out. <laughs> <laughs> Smashed you start the day right with uh, good old cream coffee and and it wakes you up in the morning feels like doing something yeah it's good i'm gonna sing everybody a little good morning song this morning it was a song that i learned from my grandmother foster so i'm gonna sing it for you today sweet mary bliss went out to pick some flowers she went in grass up to her ankles high. She saw a bird, sat on a turkey feather. It broke her heart. She let a farmer take her home. Ta-da! I like that. Enjoy. All right, so we're getting ready for breakfast. We're gonna have some scrambled eggs and sausage, the freeze-dried eggs, and uh, probably make some breakfast burritos with the freeze-dried cheese, tortillas, and some hot sauce. And all we gotta do is boil a little bit of water and hydrate them up. All right, this morning's breakfast, gonna roll it up and eat it. Some freeze-dried eggs and sausage on top of some pepperoni on a tortilla. Greg's got bacon, bacon with his. Bacon with mine. Chorizo on mine. Real chorizo over here. Chorizo. Lynn? I, I just have eggs with a little uh, chalula on it and going to town. All right. Thank you. First fish of the day on a crawfish pattern jig in the waterfall. All right, we'll probably throw him back and keep going. Here's the waterfall. That's where we just caught the first trout of the day. And we got more to get to. fish the outlet or inlet actually and outlet but so I have to go out here. I'm fishing with this pink scud and I'm catching probably a fish every other cast. For a while there I was catching by every cast. I wasn't bringing them all in but I was getting fish on about every cast. They like these little pink scuds and they're cut this is coming in from the this is the inlet Fishing over here is good. Just take car rod right into this little water here with a nice little pink scud. Well, there's another little wiggler. So we're going to take him off and get him back in the water real quick. Let him go. 
All right, so I'm gonna put the camera away and release him. Fish on. Oh, he's a fighter. All right. And there he is. Let's get him unhooked and release him. All right, it's getting close to lunch. Let's go uh, pack up and catch up with the crew and get some calories. Yep, there's a pack train. Do I have a dog with them? I didn't see a dog. We're having lunch. A lot faster than we do. Gerald uh, is out here. A lot of times the horses got the horses got the right of way. Yes. So step off the trail. Everywhere they have the right, right of way. Don't spook them. The horses know what they're doing. They've been down the trail several times. So Nick, what's for what's for your lunch today? You know what I'm Summer sauce. Cheese and. Oh, a part tortilla. Nice. It's good. Surprise the cheese man, Mr. Park. Yeah, it'll last quite a ways. This side, this side, this side of it. But Josh, what are you having for lunch over here? Basically, they stopped their horses. Had some cheese. I had some trail mix. Some steak strips. Get that protein in. All right. Dairy in. Easy. And Greg, what about you? Well, I uh, got fully hydrated. I'm eating some some nuts right now. And I'm going to eat a time bar. I'm probably going to have some chorizo and some cheese. Uh huh. I mean, I ain't done yet. It's 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 a snack thing, and you know, it, it doesn't have to be like right now. You can you can spread out your lunch for for an hour or two. All right. So here we got some engineering to do on your rod. Don't rub it in. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> <The Broski. laughs> I was having a really great day fishing, caught, I don't know, over a dozen. And long. I was like, well, I'm getting kind of chilly. It's time about we'll lunchtime. I climbed up on a rock and was just kind of getting, you know, slowly breaking my pole down, rolling up the line onto the spool. And a nice gust of wind came in, lost my balance. Dink! Right between my fingers. <laughs> And there's the tip of my pole. Wow. Just the tip. That's Just the I tip. Say a lot. All right. All right. Well, I think we need to fix this, man. I had, now we, I will tell you, I do have a spare. But I would like to engineer this and see if we, we can, can fix it. We can fix we it. We can fix it. Because I know Greg has some MSR trip to ease, so. Well, Ben, we know Frosty's dad what used to be a carpenter, so he's got a ton of tools. He can fix it. I'd say Fast Times at Richmond High. For you youngsters, watch that movie. It's great. All right. That was a Jeff Spicoli line. So we're getting sophisticated here with lunch today. Uh, Johnny Freedom and I are going to have some quesadillas and anybody else that wants them. Uh, he's making his, and we're using some freeze-dried uh, shredded cheese and this is an experiment so we haven't added water or tried to rehydrate this at all and uh, we're just gonna let that warm up and see how it goes uh, the first test of the tortilla didn't go good now Greg's eating it you're on the right trail the cheese is still powdery but the tortilla is right the tortilla toasted very quickly more quickly than the cheese could warm up on the inside and melt and so now we've added a little water here. Johnny Freedom is 
preparing some cheese and then we're going to heat this up. And this is really, re this is hydrated well. Yeah. No, I mean, I can see it starting with the heat. I can see all this cheese starting to stick together. And so now we can keep our tortilla from, you know, scalding the tortilla and our cheese is already melting. Mm. And it'll be hot. Right. And it won't be favorite cooking. So it's coming together. We're going to get this. So we rehydrated some cheese and heated it up. Now John's just spreading it on a tortilla. We got some freeze dried jalapenos with us and Ben, you want to eat this one? That's fine, man. I'm Can probably going to put gonna... some jalapenos on it then. Yeah, let's put some jalapenos and just toss it. And then let's uh I'm going to throw some pepperoni on there too. So I'll be back at you in a second. So we got the cheese. There's actually a layer of about 10 jalapeno slices underneath the pepperoni and then we've added pepperoni and we're going to toast the one side and then fold it and flip it and keep it going. Here's the first one that we made and now Johnny is making the second one. We're just going to keep after it. Yeah, it's zipped up. Anybody else want a quesadilla? No, that first one I had was Josh, you want one? I got enough cheese. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's a win. There's round two of the cheesy pepperoni jalapeno quesadillas. This is the looking east-ish view of our campsite tonight. That's my z plaque triplex. We got Johnny Freedoms over there. And I don't think you can see Greg, but he's down over there. And this is the view behind me outside of this Looking right out of the door of my tent, I'll have to show you later when I'm in there. It's pretty hot in there right now. But uh, you can see right at the waterfall, right outside my tent. It's real pretty. Make a good picture. So I am just using the Garmin InReach Mini to do some messaging, update map share for people that are following along on the trip so they can keep up with you know where we're at and comments that we're making and that kind of stuff and just kind of chilling for a little bit people are relaxing and taking naps um doing chores washing some clothes casing some water that kind of thing just normal sort of camp chores and uh, here in a little bit, when the sun starts to go down and the temperatures drop, uh, we'll probably go ahead and prep for dinner. I think we're having pulled pork tonight with uh, some rice, maybe some curried rice, haven't decided yet. And uh, just gonna have a good time and some camaraderie with the rest of the crew and uh, chill out. And tomorrow I think we're gonna move on down to uh, another lake and set up a base camp for a few days and do a lot of fishing I hope a lot of successful fishing we caught tons of little trout in here you know eight inch kinds of of trout we didn't keep any to eat tonight um, so we're having a great time so far and hope you're enjoying the, the vlogs so that's it. If you got any questions about the gear that we use or the cooking techniques or the freeze-dried food or the non-freeze-dried food, just leave those 
questions in the comments and uh, I'll try and get back to them. All right, we'll check in with you in a bit. It happens, man. Avantech, that's, that's why they you need to make a stronger hands. tip. Because this is ridiculous. My little, tiny, little little BK hands should not have broken the tip on this pole. We're going to fix it. No, nobody Aren't will we? Ever. We are. We are. And, you know, here... Let me see if I can get where we can see this, actually. This is the piece that broke off of the very end of the Tenkara rod. And this piece of line here that's attached to the end is called the Lillian. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of MSR trip tease. And here's the broken end. Yeah, and I don't know if they'll see that on camera, but it's okay. They'll understand. I mean, they're bas we're basically wanting to create an, an abraded surface yeah. that doesn't have any finished product on the graphite so that when we heat shrink it, then it sticks. All right, and so there's a nylon core in the center of this, and so we're going to cut off the burnt end, All right. and we're going to take off about an inch of the nylon core, then we're going to slide the sheath, this outer yellow reflective sheath, over it, and then we're going to heat shrink it to the tip and uh, make a new Lillian. So that's what we're going to do want now. A, we want to cinched on there pretty good. Pretty good. It's glued on there. Pretty good, and it's gone up. It's glued up there probably a quarter of an inch. Yeah, it looks good to me, man. Thick. All we so need something some, to hold the line. Where's the tip? Where's the old tip? Old tip to new tip. Yep. Looks good. Back, Same length. What we Backwoods do? tinkering. What would we do? <laughs> Lose four inches? Anybody, everybody's got an extra four inches. Four inches. Yeah, everybody's got an extra four inches. <laughs> Backwoods tinkering <laughs> with the cheese, man. All right, so we're getting dinner ready, and this is the pulled pork and uh, barbecued pulled pork. And this is uh, seasoned rice. And we actually brought some uh, curry it's gone now. seasoning. That's how that happened. Just to add, well, we can always do more. It doesn't take that long. You know, curry to whatever we want. And so that's what this is. So we're going to do some of that in here. Maybe a couple blocks. And hydrate that all back up and eat. Serving up dinner. Is, is, is now Curried rice and barbecue pulled pork. Introduce this. Burritos. We got some jalapenos over here. Got some Cholula. Some Diablo sauce. All right, who's next? Disgusting. Disgusting. Worst thing I ever tasted. Yeah, don't eat it, right? Okay. And here's the good old jalapenos. And I only make one taco at a time. Oh. Do you want Just a little bit. Yep. This is tonight's makeup. So we got the curry rice, the pulled pork, jalapenos, Diablo sauce, burritos. Yummy. Well, we just finished a great dinner and uh, we're going to go hang some bear bags and uh, play a few card games and just unwind until it gets dark and hit the hay. And then tomorrow we're moving base camp 
uh, to Double Lake where we'll be for a few days and uh, doing fishing and side hikes and just enjoying uh, the backcountry. So that's the plan. I think tomorrow, for me anyway, probably is a uh, bath day and a uh, wash clothes day and maybe even shave day because it's getting uh, pretty thick. So anyway, um, hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, take a minute, hit the subscribe button and uh, leave your comments in the comment section below. And remember, when you can, get up, get out, live a little. See ya. All right, he's a fighter. Cool looking at him, came up to get the, see what he was getting. Oh, I got two. Oh my God, I've got two. I caught two on the same dropper. Oh man, I gotta get these. Be back.